Do you want to learn how to be an SEO expert like me? Well, today I'm going to teach you. Hey everyone, I'm Neil Patel and today I'm going to share with you how you can be an SEO expert. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe to this channel. That way when I release more advice on marketing and SEO, you'll get notified. When it comes to SEO, it's not just about being an SEO expert, you want to have the passion for SEO. I have a question for you. Do you really want to learn SEO? If you do, leave a comment with yes. If you don't, leave a comment with no. If you don't truly love and want to learn SEO, you're not going to be an expert. It's not just about doing something just because it makes money. It's about love. When you truly love something, you want to learn it, you want to get good at it, you'll put in the time and effort that you need to to become an expert. See, if I just give you the tips to become an expert, and I will in this video, and you follow them but you don't love what you're doing and you don't care about it, you'll never be an expert. So that's the first thing you need to do is make sure you truly love SEO, you want to do it, you want to get good at it. So now that you have love, the second thing you need to do is set up a website. Go to wordpress.org or wordpress.com, set up your own website. It could be a blog, could be a blogging platform, it doesn't matter, that's just the first thing you need to do. Without your own website, you won't know how to implement these tactics, practice, or get good at them. The third thing you need to do is write content. When you have your website, if you don't have content, you're not going to rank. As the saying goes, content is king. Publish content on whatever you're passionate about. Heck, it could even be SEO. It could even be your journey on becoming an SEO expert. If you're not passionate about it, you're not going to do a good job blogging. The fourth thing is you need to build links. When it comes to building links, if no one's linking to your website, you won't rank. So when you write this article on, let's say, astrology, you'll want to go to sites like Twitter or BuzzSumo and see who else has popular articles related to astrology. Then when you take those articles, you can put them into Ahrefs. It'll show you all the people linking to them. You want to hit them up and being like, hey, John, I noticed you linked out to this article related to astrology. I have a similar one that just came out, but mine covers A, B, and C that theirs did it. Feel free and check it out, and if you also like it, link to it. When you do that, more people will link to you. You're going to have to send out 100 emails just to get a few measly links, and that's okay. Because all of those links will add up, and it will really help you get rankings faster over time. On top of links, you now need to then start getting social shares. Similar to that BuzzSumo strategy, you can also see, again, you go to BuzzSumo, see all the other related articles, click on view shares, see all the people who shared your competitors' uh, content, and ask them to share yours. That simple tactic will get you more social shares. Then I want you to follow all the popular marketing blogs, from Backlinko to Moss to, hey, even me, neilpatel.com. All of these marketing blogs will break out the latest and greatest tactics and techniques. By reading them on a regular basis, you'll learn them, you'll stay on top of the curve, so that way you'll do better than most people in the SEO industry. You don't have to be the best, you just have to be better than most. That way, you can rank higher than most people. And of course, even when you read these blogs and you're practicing SEO on your own site, you need to test out one thing a month. I'm not talking about a little thing like, oh, let me adjust my title tag. I'm talking about a big drastic test. It could be, hey, let me delete old content that isn't ranking to see if that boosts my overall traffic. Or hey, let me add in links in my sidebar to my most popular pages to see if that helps boost their rankings even more. By doing one experiment at least once a month, what you'll find is you'll quickly learn what's working and what's not. You don't want to also do it too often like experiment every day or every week because you won't know what's impacting your rankings and what's not because that's too many changes at once. And last but not least, be patient. You're not going to climb to the top of Google in a month or even three months or six months. It takes longer and longer each and every single year because the web is more competitive. There's roughly 1.7 or 1.8 billion websites on the internet. That's roughly four websites, technically one website for every four people. That's a lot of websites. And blogs, there's over a billion. That's roughly one blog for every seven people. That's too many sites to choose from. And because that Google now says, hey, there's a lot of people talking about the same content over and over again, let's pick the ones that are more up to date or more authority it makes it that much harder for you to get rankings. For that reason, you need to learn to be patient. 
If you do this consistently for six months to a year, you'll get results. And if you're not patient, you're gonna quit. And if you quit after three months, you're not gonna see the results. You'll be like, wait, SEO doesn't work. I don't wanna be an SEO expert. This is a waste of time. That's why patience is very important. Thank you for watching. Hopefully now you're gonna be on your journey to becoming an SEO expert. If you have any questions on how to become an expert, if there's anything that confuses you, leave a comment below, I'll answer and I'll help you out. In addition to that, if you like the video, please share it, tell other people about it. You can also like the video itself. Thank you for watching and if you ever need any extra marketing help, check out my ad agency, Neil Patel Digital.